Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number 7. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Virgos out there. So if you have Virgo as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for all of my Virgos out there, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it doesn't, please don't take it personally. So without further ado, Virgos, happy Sagittarius season, by the way. Let's go ahead and get started with some messages from your person. I'm getting over my hardships. We will meet again. Let's play fair. So also, Virgo, please keep in mind that if I'm speaking from your person's perspective, that could be how you feel. The roles could be reversed, just however this reading resonates for you. Also, keep in mind that this is a timeless reading, so the energies I'm describing, they could have already taken place. They may be bound to happen. It also will not resonate for everyone. But even if you're not connected to a person right now, this could be a person who's coming towards you. But so far, Virgo, in the past, and this could be recent past, I feel like there has been some separation. And it's because this person didn't have things in order in their life. Um, and maybe you, Virgo, you were the one to realize that this person, you and this person weren't on the same page. So you close this off with no hard feelings, just the understanding that this isn't what you want right now or this isn't for you right now. And I feel like you may have uh, stepped away from this connection. Could have been your person as well. We do have, I'm getting over my hardships and let's play fair. This tells me, Virgo, that there may have been a lot of back and forth with this person or maybe you, Virgo, uh, you two would initiate plans together and it would somehow the plans would flake or the your person would flake on those plans they just weren't following through and I feel like the little things that you picked up on like that it it gave you an idea of the bigger picture like how would it be moving forward with this person and you may have felt like it would have added mess into your life or some drama um, we do have let's play fair there may have been some like like I said back and forth tit for tat um, you may have felt like your person was just playing games and this could be little like and when I when I refer to games it could be a bunch of things but for example um, maybe you felt like your person was on social media a lot or they they were like an attention seeker and maybe you Virgo you felt like it was immature of them and of course uh, of course that won't resonate for everyone but just you may have just picked up on some little things about this person that you knew wouldn't work out for the long term but I do feel like you still kept your options open when it came to this person because I'm getting that it ended sooner than later so it's not like a, a bunch of things went down but maybe it did so I feel like you kept your heart open for this person or you maybe concluded that even though right now it's not going to work out, that doesn't mean that in the future things won't. So we do have We Will Meet Again. Where do you see me in your life? Do you think of me too? You set the bar. So, with the where do you see me in your life, I feel like this is your energy, Virgo. With the I'm getting over my hardships, 
I feel like your person wasn't in the best space to carry out a serious connection. Um, and I feel like you, Virgo, you took note on that and you just, maybe their energy or the way they did things, their day-to-day -day life, it was very sporadic. Maybe you felt like they were too young or not mature for what you were trying to bring into this. So I do feel like you, Virgo, you were the one to maybe walk away and even you trying to reconcile within that Virgo, like trying to see eye to eye, really not trying to cause any tension, just wanting to spend time with your person, getting to know them. I feel like even you reaching out to them and maybe knowing how they would respond, whether it would be like declining or flaking out on plans or not following through, I feel like even that was too immature for you, Virgo, because it, it got you nowhere in this connection. I do feel like you and your person are in separation still. For some of my Virgos, they you you two might still be in communication, but with the do you think of me too, I feel like this is a mutual energy. Um, I feel like with what you try to show this person, they, they think about where it could have led. Um, it's like always the, the what if thought, like what if I did stick with this or what if I put more effort into this um so I feel like this is a mutual energy but I also feel like you're wondering what your person is up to right now Virgo you might still be checking in on their social media because like I said I don't think anything detrimental happened to this connection it was more of a situation where you Virgo you felt like you were maybe wasting your time and you didn't want to waste your time anymore, so you you stepped out of this connection. We have you set the bar. I feel like this is your energy, Virgo. I feel like this is the energy you wanted to put into your person's life. You wanted to do the most for them. Um, I always describe Virgos like their love language is acts of service because they love seeing the people in their life do better and accelerate themselves and whatever a Virgo can do to help you out they will relay that information they'll give you their advice so I feel like you wanted to show your person something that they've never shown before but they weren't ready for it I can't right now I'm unsure of my feelings I'm putting my trust in you Virgo, I feel like your person, their, their thoughts waver a lot. Like, it's like they want to try something out, but they're too scared to do it. Um, or they're just so invested into what they already have going on or how they, how they are used to doing things in their life. I feel like they, they definitely recognize your offer here when it comes to taking things a step further, but I feel like they're not able to recognize it as clear or so clearly. It's like they're intrigued, Virgo, but their attention span isn't there. You could be dealing with someone who is just younger than you um, in age, or there might be some age difference here, or as far as signs, you could be dealing with any signs, but just off the top, you might be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, so an air sign. Um, I feel like you interest them, Virgo, but they're, it's like they go back and forth. We have I can't right now and I'm unsure of my feelings. But I also feel like there's some things that they're trying to empty their space completely or like empty their energetic space completely to make room for new things that would get them farther and be more beneficial to them. So I'm thinking that like there's some stubborn energy here, but I feel as though it's due to your person just being used to doing the same thing or interacting with the same type of people. And when it comes to you, Virgo, you set the bar, you're different. So they, they recognize you, but they don't know how to incorporate you if that makes sense. 
we do have I'm putting my trust in you I feel like this feeds into your person's thoughts about this because they want to trust this offer Virgo they want to trust you but they're they have like a not a pros and cons but they just don't know what exactly they want to do my whole life I've been shown wrong that's what I try to avoid I've came a long way it hasn't been easy but I'm trying so I do feel like this is your person's energy Virgo um, I just refer to your person it's like they're trying to get rid of like some energetic space that maybe has been there for too long and it's just created some patterns within themselves that they would like to get rid of but because it's been there for so long it's harder to do so um so i feel like your person isn't able to easily identify your offer and you virgo and your energy because they're just used to the same old same old they're it's like they're used to being in some sort of i won't i won't describe it as completely low vibrational but they could be hanging around low vibrational people or just activities but then again they might also have some trauma some things in their life some hardships that they need to clear out or get some some grounding on before they could be the best prepared for this connection with you Virgo but I will go ahead and leave it at that. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.